Hi guys, so a lot of you requested that I do a makeup tutorial for the look that I wore with my feather earrings. So, here goes. So I'm going to do a full makeup tutorial. And my brows are already done, so we're going to start with some makeup primer, Victoria's Secret primer. And I just take a small drop on the fingertip and put it all over my face. Just get it in good. Next, I'm going to put some concealer under my eyes. This is the Sleek New Luminaire highlighting concealer. It brightens up under the eye area, so if you suffer from dark circles like I do, and I just put a little under the eye and pat it in with the ring finger. The ring finger puts the least amount of pressure on your eyes. Next I'm going to take my concealer. Right now I use the Black Opal Fade and Conceal Concealer and just put it on any dark spots I may have left from acne. And blend that in. Okay, so foundation right now I'm using sorry, the Revlon photo ready foundation and I mix two shades mocha and cappuccino because mocha is a bit too dark and cappuccino is a bit too light so I use this little metal palette and put a full pump and a half of mocha and a half a pump of cappuccino and I'm going to use a sponge. This is the best sponges from Alcon. And I wet it with some Fix Plus. Did I wet the lens? <laughs> and I take the sponge and mix the foundation together. And then I use it to apply my foundation. And you don't need too much. Just one even coat. Make sure you get in the hairline good and on your jawline. And just blend it in well. And that's it for the foundation. Now I'm going to set the foundation with some Ben Nye Neutral Set Translucent Powder that I just have in the sister jar. And I put a little bit in the cap. And I use a fluffy brush. And just blend it. I get the nose and my T-zone really good because that's where I get oily and you just blend it all over the face to set the foundation and that's it so for the cat eye I'm using MAC Super Slick Liquid Eyeliner in Signature Blue. So let me go ahead and 
do the eyes and you start from the inner corner and you start off thin and then make it a little thicker this is very thin so I tend to have to layer it a bit Now I'm going to take the NYX eyeliner pencil and sapphire and put some under my lower lash line. And extend it into the corner of my eye. And then the Inglo AMC eyeliner gel in black with a bent tip liner brush. I'm just going to put some of that on my waterline. You are not supposed to pull your eyes like this, so don't do it probably why I have bags now it's not good for you but it's easier for me eventually I'll stop So if I'm putting my fingers under my eyes, I messed up my foundation a little so I'm just going to go back with my sponge that already has foundation on it and blend under my eye area. And put some setting powder. So my eyeliner is done. Now I'm going to put on some lashes, and the lashes are from KK Center HK. I have a pair that cut already that I used last when I did this look, so I'm just going to put those on. You don't want to put too much glue because it will take it too long to dry. But make sure you put a little more in the corners because that's where they tend to lift a little. And I'm using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive in Dark. You 
you put a little on and I blow it a bit so it can dry some and start I'm just gonna take eyelash comb and comb my lashes some so I can put the lashes on properly and it's best to start toward the corner and work your way in and I use the tweezers to help them in place so now that the lashes are on I'm going to take my eyelash curler and curl them a bit because these are long and I feel that they stick out too much so to bend them with my lashes I curl them a bit uh oh it's still wet because it's a little stuck okay so those are the lashes you get a closer look Now I'm going to take the sleek contour kit in dark and just the dark side, the contour side, and contour my cheekbones. And I just make the little fish face. And it shows you where to put your contour exactly. I'm going to take MAC Ombre Blush and Vintage Grape from the Spring Color Forecast Collection. And put some of that on. I just put a whole lot on. You can see it. And just blend that in some more. I blend it from my cheeks toward my temple. I'm going to take NARS Blush and Albatross to highlight my cheekbones. Finish with the blush and take model in a bottle spray to set everything, close my eyes, and cover my lips. And that sets everything and keeps it in place all day, definitely in extremely hot weather. And I'm going to finish this look with Inglo Gel Lipstick. Inglot, as you guys probably say it, and number 65, which is a pretty purple.
So that's it guys. This is the finished look. Let me know if you have any questions and there will be more pictures of the look on the blog, The Glamorous Gleam, www.theglamorousgleam.com. Until next time, smooches.